Did you know that there are only 300,000 wild gorillas left in our world today? To help raise awareness and appreciation for these magnificent creatures, I have added gorillas into Minecraft. And now I'm going to be turning into a gorilla in-game to see if I can survive 100 days against three poachers who are trying to stop me. Will my crazy gorilla powers be enough to stop the poachers? Or will the poachers catch me monkeying around? Let's find out. On day one, I spawned in as a baby gorilla. Oh, look, I'm a baby gorilla. Though, as you can see, I only have five hearts of HP as a baby gorilla, meaning I can die super easy. And that's a problem. Because as you can see behind me, there is three poachers up on that hill trying to hunt me down. And the second I leave this platform, they're gonna start. But luckily, we have all these gorilla upgrades, like turning into a mecha gorilla or unlocking a coconut gun. That is gonna help us defeat the poachers. But right now, we literally have nothing to defeat them. So we're just gonna have to run. Now, luckily, I see a jungle temple behind my hut. But there's also a nether portal in front of them. Hut. So which are we gonna go for? Let's go for the nether portal because it's closer and just try and get into its chest as fast as possible. And then we'll run to the jungle temple behind us. Here we go. They're gonna attack me the second I leave this tree platform. Okay, here we go. And going. He's running. Get him. We're going. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Okay, okay, quick. Get in this chest. Oh my god, we got a golden apple. Got a golden apple. Nice. And a pickaxe. Oh my god, they have chainsaws. The poachers have chainsaws. Come here. Okay, quick, this way. Get back here, gorilla. Oh, they're right behind us. They're right behind us. We need to get over to that jungle temple. Right behind you, gorilla. Up here. Nice. We can jump in. Okay, we need to get the items quick. There should be an item behind here. Nice, we got one. Now there should be another down here. Dodge this. Stop chainsawing. Grab the arrows. What's in this chest? Nice, we got more gold. We got sticks as well. Quick, up here. He's leaving the temple. Run him off. Quick, down here. Let's grab this log. I'm after him. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's quickly make a crafting table inside of this tree. Let's turn all these iron nuggets into ingots. Oh, we're gonna have an iron sword. I thought we were gonna have a gold. We have an iron sword now. Oh, I just got hit by a chainsaw. Okay, we got him. Oh, nice, we got one. We got one. We got one. I'm turning you into gorilla glue, gorilla. Oh, the other one's back. The other one's back. Oh. Nice, we got him down. He's probably tough. Okay, we got another one dead. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? We gotta kill him quick. He's over here. I'm gonna get you, gorilla. Just stay right. Oh my god. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You think this gorilla is cool? Well, it's not as cool as today's sponsor, Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail is a brand new multi platform space fantasy RPG game by the creators of Genshin Impact, Hoyoverse. And I honestly love this game. Honkai Star Rail is based around space and is full of all sorts of different sci fi themes. Like, just look at some of these worlds from the game. They look incredible. You can legit freely explore the entire universe in this game and find all sorts of different treasure and puzzles along the way. And on top of these amazing worlds, this game has an amazing turn-based combat system that keeps battles super fresh. And you already know, battling's my favorite part because I love testing out all sorts of crazy strategies to take down enemies. Now, look, I could sit here and talk about battles all day, but that wouldn't do justice to the beautiful art style this game has, which paired along with the music and animation just has me so hooked on this game, I can't stop playing. Honkai Star Rail is out right now. So what are you waiting for? If you want to join me in this amazing space fantasy RPG, simply scan the QR code on screen right now or click the link in the description down below. By the way, when you download the game, use the promo code on screen right now to get an extra 50 stellar jades because Honkai Star Rail is definitely going to be my favorite game of 2023. Okay, let's quickly grab three logs. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's make a crafting table again. He's right down by the river. Oh God, they're coming back over. In a plank, make a boat. Go, 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 go. We're in the boat, we're in the boat. Get up. Yes, we're ditching them. We're gone. Go, 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 go. Move, squid, move. We are free. And now we just gotta find a place to build a base. So let's just keep going down this river till we find a good area and we'll go from there. Okay, I found a spot where I wanna build my base. We're gonna build it right here into the side of this wall. So let's start by cutting down this tree. Please, now let's make some basic tools. Now let's break three stone. Now let's get some more sticks and make a stone pickaxe. And now let's start digging our base into the side of this cliff. Okay, there we go. We got the base carved out. Now let's just grab some of this coal right here and let's make some torches so we can add some light to this place. And with that, we're good to start designing the base. So let's go get a bed, chest, all the normal essentials we need for a base. And so I finished up the base and got all the starter items I should need. And now we have to simply start doing some upgrades for some more hearts so we don't get poached in the first 10 days. Okay, it's day seven and the base is finally complete. It's pretty basic. We get our chests, furnaces, and bed and our giant mine shaft all the way down there. And the best part about this base is I haven't seen the poachers yet, which is great because lately in our past videos, the hunters have been destroying me really early on. So I'm glad I haven't seen them yet. Anyway, it's time to work on our first gorilla upgrade so that way we can be a little bit stronger because right now we only have five hearts of health which means we're weak so let's unlock mud toss our first combat ability where we throw mud at the hunters and if we hit them they go blind so you know we have to get this because if the poachers are blind they can't hunt me down so anyway to unlock this ability we need to kill 10 skeletons with a bow throw 16 snowballs and kill two poachers so let's start by getting our skeleton kills so let's head down to the mine okay and we're here ow jerk found some skeletons 
Okay, so it turns out that killing skeletons is not what I'm supposed to do. If I could read, I'd see it says kill skeletons with a bow. Now, I already have a bunch of arrows, so let's quickly head up and make a bow. There we go. Let's make the bow. And now let's go kill skeletons. Hey, a music disc. Okay, we got all the skeleton kills. Oh, we gotta go. There's so many mobs down there. Okay, with the skeletons all killed, now we just need to throw 16 snowballs. So let's quickly make ourselves a shovel. And now let's go find a mountain that we can get some snow off of. Okay, let's grab a bunch of this snow over here. Okay, now let's throw a bunch of these snowballs real quick. And done. So what we're gonna do now is look for where the poacher's base is. And then we just have to take out two of them. And we'll unlock Mud Toss. But first, let's get home. Because we're still a thousand blocks away. And so I made my way to spawn to see if the poachers were still there. And they weren't. So I kept looking around for a couple days. Till I finally found the poachers. Okay, so I think I'm really close to where the hunter's base has gotta be. I don't see any of them around. But if you look on this hill near the village, you're gonna see that there's a bunch of torches over here. Oh my god, I see names below me. And it looks like they're breaking blocks. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, there's tons of torches over here. Is their base in the side of the... Yeah, it is. I see wood. Their base is right here in the side of the hill. I don't even think they see me coming up. Hold shift right here. Get him. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I died instantly! Get rid of a sneak attack! Oh! Where? Oh! Quick, get him! Get him! Get him! He's gonna be yes! Oh, we got him! Go, go, go! Oh, the snowballs do nothing. I forgot. They updated that. Oh, I'm falling! Oh, he's getting me. Oh, he fell. He fell. He fell. This way? Oh, no. He's making sure I can't get out. Swim this way. Swim this way. I got an idea. We got a boat? I broke his yeah. boat! Ha ha! Take yeah, that, gorilla! Yeah. Okay, let's climb, let's climb, let's climb. Nice, we can jump two blocks. This is gonna help us here. As a baby gorilla, we still have good jump boost. Let's use that to get over this hill. There's one up here, nice. Oh, he just fell in that hole. Okay, quick, combat, mud toss, we got it. Okay, we have the mud in our inventory. Now let's go ahead and let's use it on him. I can, oh, I can rapid fire it, nice. Ah, I'm blind, oh, I'm cut. blind. Ah. They're all blind, they're all blind, they're all blind. Oh my, I still see you. Oh my god. Nice, we got one. Get him with the mud, get him with the mud, get him with the mud. They're both blind, they're both blind. He's low, he's low, he's low. All right. Nice. He's blind and they're dead. Go, 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 go. We can get out here with this. There's one on us. We need to put some distance from use this hill here. Oh, gorilla. Oh, go oh, monkey. Oh, monkey. Stinky. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, he's running. Use that chance. Go, go, go. Okay, watch him in F5. Ready? It's hard to fight in F5. It's hard to fight in F5. Keep him blind. Keep him blind. Nice. They're blind. Now, we don't have a boat this time, so we can't use a boat to get away. We're going to have to kill them once we're far away. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. Nice, we got him, we got him. Find another one. He's done, he's done, he's done. Nice, we got him. All right. Whoa! Go, 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 go. Nice. And we are out of here with our new mud ability. Okay, so with the poachers taken down, we've now unlocked our mud ability, which is only okay. The main setback right now is still that we only have five hearts of HP. And to change that, we've got to become an adolescent ape with 15 hearts of HP. And then it says it has strength one, speed two, jump something or another. But it's a lie. Because you're going to see I already have jump boost two, speed one, and strength one. We basically broke our mod. I wasn't supposed to have anything for gorilla toddler. And then the adolescent ape was supposed to get it, but it's broken. Look, I don't know why. Don't worry about it. We're just going to give the adolescent ape water breathing and boom problem solved it's now an upgrade anyway to get it we just need 32 cocoa beans 16 vines and a saddle so let's start by going into our chest and grabbing our iron ingots now let's make some shears and now we just need to head to a jungle or a swamp to get some vines okay the closest vines i could find were the ones that spawned so let's start cutting them down and there we go just like that we have 16 total vines which was easy to get to be honest now we just need some cocoa beans and saddles and since we're near a jungle let's grab the cocoa beans okay here's some cocoa beans and look there's a parrot Okay, hold on a minute. How do I friend you? Okay, hold on. I need seeds to go ahead and get that parrot. Break some of this grass. I got seeds. Parrot, where'd you go, buddy? There he is. Get him. Be my friend. Dang it. Fine. Be that way. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Back to getting cocoa beans. Okay, there we go. We officially have all the cocoa beans we need. And the sun's starting to set, so let's head on home. Okay, so now that we have all the cocoa beans and vines that we need, we just need to get a saddle, which we have to find. And they're not, like, crazy difficult. They spawn in a lot of different loot chests. And I think our best bet is to just go find an abandoned mine shaft and see if we can find one there. But it's nighttime right now, so let's go to sleep, and tomorrow we'll get the saddle. It would take me until around day 16 or so to find an abandoned mine shaft, which is kind of odd, because usually they're pretty common. But I guess I just got kind of unlucky this time. Oh, is that in a bit of mine chef? Finally, we found one. Okay, let's see what this chest has in it. Dang it, no saddle. Okay, well, we gotta hope there's a saddle somewhere in this abandoned mine shaft. Let's just keep looking around. Okay, here's another, but still no saddle, just some rails. Got some iron ingots. Dang it, more bread. Just give me a saddle. Please give me a saddle. <gasps> yes, a saddle. Thank goodness. We finally found one. And now we can finally leave this dumb cave and go home. Okay, we are home. So now we can finally go to sleep. And Ooh. Surprise, monkey! Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's right! Oh, poachers are here! Oh, God! Dude! Oh, 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 oh. How did they get in there without breaking the stone? What? Oh, wait, they probably just replaced it. Okay, let's kill this guy. Oh. Kill him. Come on, come on. Oh. We 
got him. He's low. He's low. He's low. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Yes, he's dead. He's gonna be dead. Come on. He should be blind. Bow him. Trying to run. We got him. Oh, nice. Yes, we got him. Okay, we survived that attack. And luckily, we have everything we now need to become an adolescent ape. But after that, let's just do it tomorrow. So with the saddle, cocoa beans, and vines in hand, we can go from being a baby gorilla into the adolescent ape. You can see I'm much bigger now, have 15 total hearts. And the only other difference that the teen ape gets is that he can breathe underwater. You're gonna see I'm underwater right now. And my ape is not losing any oxygen. But yeah, that's the adolescent ape upgrade. And now that we have 15 hearts, we're not gonna die. So let's finish up our tier one upgrades by getting the banana upgrade which is an infinite piece of food that gives regeneration to monkeys if they eat it. And the best part is that when I finish eating a banana, it's gonna drop a peel on the ground, and if someone steps on it, they slip. So you know I have to unlock the banana. And to get it, we just need 16 golden carrots, 16 baked potato, and 16 yellow dye. Okay, so let's start by going to a village and getting ourselves some potatoes and carrots since we're gonna need some to unlock the banana upgrade. Okay, so we're in a village. We just gotta find their farms, which I'm sure are somewhere. Ah, right, here we go. Okay, let's see what crops we have. Okay, that's all the potatoes and carrots at this village. Now let's head to the second village we know about. Or that's where I would go if there wasn't a bunch of yellow flowers here. Because if I break these... So now that we broke 17 dandelions, let's quickly turn them into yellow dye. And just like that, we're done with one of the quests for the banana. Now we just need more potatoes and carrots, which is right here. So let's go ahead and let's break these crops. And you're gonna see we're still short on both potatoes and carrots. We need 16 total. And this is the only farm in this entire village. So we're gonna need to find a third village. So let's get looking. Okay, here we go. Here's a third village. Let's just quickly loot this one up and grab the remaining stuff we need. Hopefully this has enough stuff. Get us to 16 carrots and 16 potatoes. There we go. Finally, we have everything we need. So now let's just head on home, make some golden carrots and baked potatoes, and then we can get the banana upgrade. So now let's throw our potatoes inside of our smoker to turn into baked potatoes. And while that's melting, let's grab our gold from the chest and let's start smelting that as well now let's turn what gold we do have into gold nuggets and let's combine those nuggets with our carrots to get our first eight golden carrots we still need eight more which is why we have all this extra gold so we can turn that into gold nuggets and finish up getting all the gold carrots now if we check on our baked potatoes you're gonna see they're almost done so now we can unlock our banana upgrade which is an infinite banana that i can eat in my inventory and when i do it i drop a banana peel that i can't slip on but if i let the skeleton step on it for me You'll see he slipped. Uh, but because I'm in a cave, he didn't go that high. So, uh, die. And now it's just block of our entrance. And let's go to sleep. So tomorrow we can start working on our tier two gorilla upgrades, which include things like a punch and aggressive foraging, whatever that is. Okay, so tier two upgrades. I think first we got to work on eight punch because it's as strong as a netherite sword. And I need to be stronger because I'm pretty weak still. So let's go ahead and let's get a punch. And to unlock this ability, we need to kill a hundred zombies, discover a jungle temple, which I already know where one is. And then I have to kill four players after hitting them with mud. And mud is really weak, so we'll see how that goes. So let's start by just punching 100 zombies, because zombies are literally the weakest creatures in the game. Or at least that's what I think. Let me know what you think the strongest mob is. The what? Oh my god, the lag. Oh! <laughs> yeah, bulldoze the base. All right, all right, guys, you ready? Yeah, yeah I'm let's ready. Do it. Yeah. Hold on, they're here. Oh, God. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think the strongest mob is. That's what I was saying. Uh, we need to kill them. Oh, my God. It's destroyed, dude. We need to protect the chests. Hold on. Quick. Block them off. Block them off. Block them off. They can't get to the chest this way. No. Kill them. Kill them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh! They almost killed me. They almost killed me. They almost killed me. Oh, my God. The TNT almost blew me up. Get the regeneration from the banana. Put a bunch of bananas around us in a circle. Okay, if they get near me, they're going to slip. Ready? Boom, he's in the air. Get over here, monkey. Oh, my goodness. Nice. We got him. Oh, he's done. Okay, there's one up here. Oh, he slipped, though. Oh, no. Oh, he's done. He's done. Get over here, monkey. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, we got them. They're dead. Let's go see if our chest survived. Oh, no, they didn't. But there's a bunch of stuff on the ground. Hold on. Let's grab all this stuff. Okay, there we go. We got it all stored back in chests. But with this base destroyed, we got to pack up and go. Because the poachers are going to keep attacking here over and over till I'm dead. So let's go hide and find a new base. After losing the first gorilla base, I decided to move over 1,000 blocks away, where hopefully the poachers wouldn't find us. Okay, so welcome your faces to the brand new gorilla base. This base is honestly really, really cool and is much more fitting for a gorilla. Anyway, this base is pretty much done. The only thing it's missing is some bananas on the ground as traps. So let's start by eating a bunch of bananas along the edges. Okay, there we go. We got a bunch of bananas around the base now, which should make invading this base a lot trickier. And now let's just go punch a zombie 100 times. 
And there we go. We punched a zombie 100 times. And now we just have to go to a jungle temple and kill some players with some mud. So let's get going back up to the base. And now let's go to sleep. And tomorrow we can quickly head to the jungle temple to see if it works. Okay, so the jungle temple actually isn't crazy far from here because I'm a lot closer to spawn than I was earlier. So let's go start by checking that out, which should literally just be over this way. Okay, yep, here it is over here. So let's quickly head into this jungle temple. Let's see, does this count? Yep, I'm in. It counts. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that counted. The jungle temple we found at spawn at the beginning completes the quest. Meaning now we just have to kill four players by hitting them with mud. But our mud attack is super weak. Luckily, it doesn't say kill the hunters with mud. It says kill them after we hit them with our mud. So let's go splat the hunters and teach them a lesson for messing with our old base. Okay, their base is literally just up here. I see the torches and I see their names below the ground. So they're definitely here. And here's a hidden ladder. I don't think I saw this ladder before. Hold up. I don't know if I fit. Here, hold on. We don't fit on their ladders. What? We're too fat. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, there's one of them fishing right there. I got an idea. Ready? Do you like the new entrance? Yeah, I'm trying to fish off of it. Oh, oh. God. oh, gorilla. Oh, monkey. Luckily, we're small enough to get in. Your base can't stop me. One dead. We, we doesn't count unless we mud them first. Okay, there's two dead. Okay, let's mud them. They're not hurting me because my banana. Go, go, get him. Get him while he's flooded. We need to mud him. Mud him, mud him. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. We gotta get this guy with the mud. Okay, we, can't, we got him after the mud. We got him after the mud. Come on, he's gotta be low. Cool, we're low. We're low. Nice. Go this way. Wait, they blocked me off. This way, quick. Whoop. Throw some mud at them. Blind them. Blind them and eat some food. Oh my god. Now we gotta kill any of them. Oh god. Fighting three of them is tough. I just gotta keep healing with these regen bananas. Oh my god. This is so brutal. Go down here. Dive in the water. Dive in the water. We need to get them outside. We need to get them outside. Okay, they're trying to swim after me. Let's just get some blocks and get out of here real quick. We can climb over here. We can climb over here. Climb up the hill. Climb up the hill. Okay, let's get him down this hill. This is a chance to kill them here. Let's start digging up. One's already above us. I'm dead. Nice. We got one. That's two kills. Let's get this guy with the butt and let's kill him. Come on, get him. No, dude. No. Yes, that's three. We just need one more. We just need one more. How are they still hurting me? You're dead. Okay, there's one thing above me. He doesn't think I see him, but I definitely see him. Oh, we got him. We got him. Surprise, monkey. Hey. <laughs> I can't see them under the water. The water's bugging out for me. Splat up so he's blind and can't see. Oh! We need to get out of the water. Eat our banana. He's trying to get close. Okay, go up here. Go back here. Nice. Up here. Back here. Now we can climb. We can climb. We can climb. Nice. Break this. Nice. We're getting away. Oh! He slipped. Nice. He took full damage. Okay, blind him. Oh, no. He's not going to be able to. No! No, he punched me. Nice. We got him. That's four for four. Four for four. Let's quickly unlock our eight punch. And now let's get out of here. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. They're both behind us. Okay. I have eight punch out. Let's use it on him. He's dying. He's knocked off the cliff. Oh! You're knocked off the cliff, buddy. Knock back five. Knock back five. Oh! Oh! You're done. Oh my God. Knock back five is broken with the eight punch. Okay. Let's get out of here. Yeah. They're not behind us. We definitely lost them. We are out of here. Let's go. Okay. We survived. And now that we unlocked our eight punch ability, it's time for us to work on our next tier two upgrade, aggressive foraging, which is going to let me yell out like a giant gorilla and knock all the mobs and poachers away. On top of that, it's also going to let me break all the grass around me. And for every grass I break, I get a random ore, meaning we're going to be rich in no time. So let's start by getting a bunch of seeds for aggressive foraging, which we can do right here with all the grass around us. Okay, and just like that, we have 128 seeds. Now we see 64 flowers, which we can easily grab because there's tons of flowers around us. And there we go. Now we have all the flowers. Now we just need 32 dead coral, which we're not going to have time to get today since the sun's already heading down. So let's just head back to the base and tomorrow we'll find some dead coral. Okay, so getting coral can be kind of tricky. We have to look for a very specific biome to get it. And that's a warm ocean. And to find a warm ocean can be kind of tricky. But once we do, getting the dead coral is easy, even for a monkey. Also, before someone comments, gorillas aren't monkeys. I know, okay? It's just because they look kind of like monkeys. Calm down. Okay, there's a shipwreck. Oh, wait, is that coral? I see coral. Oh, I see a warm Warm ocean. I think we just found a warm ocean. We're good. It's literally right below us. Here it is. Yes. Now we just need to go get some coral. Let's just dive down. Now, luckily, because I'm a monkey, I can breathe underwater forever. So this is actually really easy to do. Okay, we officially have all the coral that we need, which means we can unlock aggressive foraging. But we're going to do it tomorrow because uh, as you can see, it's already nighttime outside. So let's just head home and tomorrow we'll start testing out that ability. Okay, it's the next day. Maybe we can finally unlock that ability. And there we go. So if I use this ability in a bunch of grass, all this grass is going to disappear.
and that grass turns into random ores that scatter around. So I got some iron, some copper. Oh my God, is that netherite? Oh my God, we got three netherite scraps from that. That's so broken. Let's use this to quickly upgrade our armor because our armor is about to break anyway. So let's see how many diamonds we can get from this. Okay, just like that, we have all the diamonds we need to make diamond armor. In fact, we also have 16 netherite scraps. So I think we can make netherite armor. <laughs> Things just got really crazy. Now, if we combine our netherite scraps with all the gold we got, we get netherite ingots, which if we build a smithing table where we combine our armor with the netherite to get full netherite armor on day 32. We got full netherite armor. Say goodbye to this ugly iron and hello to our netherite armor. Well, that's a massive upgrade. Anyway, now that that's done, it's time to work on the call the troops upgrade which is gonna allow us to summon an army of gorillas to fight with us but for now let's go to bed because it's already nighttime and tomorrow we'll unlock the call your troops upgrade to get needs five iron golems five horses and four players with a punch well that sounds pretty easy let's start by taming some horses because i already have some apples which i got for using our brand new ape roar ability which kind of destroys all leaves and gives us ores for it anyway let's go feed the apples to the horses okay eat this apple <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I'm dumb. Horses aren't tamed with apples. You just ride them till they like you. Let me on. I'm a monkey on a horse. Come on, love me. Yes, this horse is now my friend. I call you Jeffrey. Okay, now let's go tame some more horses. There we go. We got five of five horses tamed. Now we're gonna need some pumpkins to summon some iron golems. So let's go find some of those. Okay, the sun's going down and I looked everywhere for pumpkins and I can't find any. Like there are no pumpkins anywhere. So I'm going home in defeat. Defeated by a pumpkin. Okay, it's a new day. A new day for finding pumpkins. So yeah, let's just go find some. Finally, pumpkins, I found you. You do exist. Okay, I just need five of you. The rest you can live. Okay, so now that we have the pumpkins, we just need to make five iron golems, which if we take all the iron ingots we have on us, that's gonna give us seven blocks of iron, which isn't even close to enough because we need... <laughs> 180 iron, which is the equivalent of 20 blocks of iron, and we only have seven. So luckily, getting the iron we need is gonna be really easy because we can kind of just do our ape floor and destroy all the leaves and get a ton of ores. <laughs> Now let's take this iron and turn it into blocks. And that should give us enough blocks to make five iron golems. So let's just build them in our base for protection. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our pumpkins on top of our iron block. And we get our... Why is that not an iron golem? Right, forgot to shear it. You gotta shear the pumpkin and then we'll have an iron golem. And there we go. We have five iron golems, which means this quest is done. So let's just go to sleep. And tomorrow we take out the poachers with our eight punch. After sleeping the night away, I made my way back to the poacher's base and I found it abandoned. So I went off looking for it. And within only a couple of days, I had already found it. That's gotta be it. Yeah, I definitely just found their base. Oh yeah, I see him. Oh dude, there's a gorilla. Oh, we're under attack. Okay, here we go. We gotta open. This is like a netherite axe. And we have netherite armor. We just need to get four people with a punch. <gasps> nice, we got him. He's dead. We punched him to death. Okay, let's get this guy ready. Oh. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Got him. He's done. That's two. The other one's here now. Oh, he's running already. Oh, he's low. He's low. I'm going to make you an endangered species. He's definitely low. We so have him. Yes, he's done. We need to get one more. Nice, we got him. That's four for four. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. He slipped. He slipped. He slipped. Okay, now let's use our roar on them. We haven't used this one yet. Ooh, now let's unlock our ability, which is call the troops. And now let's use our troops to escape. So let's use call the troops. We bang on our chest. Get them, little gorillas. Get them. Yeah, get them. Oh my God, he's got baby monkeys. All the gorillas. Stop them, gorillas. Stop them from killing me. Get them, my monkeys. Get them. Take that, gorilla soldiers. I'm going to grind them into dust. He's running. He's running. No, he's dead. We got him. Nice. Oh, okay. They're going to grind me into dust. Ah. Let's get this one. He's trying to run. Okay, let him run. I'm not fighting you. I'm the one who has to run, not you. Let's see if they come after us. They probably think we have to come up for air, but we're never gonna have to do that. Oh yeah, they're not even coming. We lost them. Okay, now that we can summon an army of gorillas that'll fight for us. No! Don't beat up the iron! No! They fight each other. No! Well, great. My baby monkeys just murdered my iron golem. Okay, you know what, monkeys? Finish the job. Kill him. Kill the iron golem. Do it. Get him! Yeah, we got him! And now there's no more iron golems up here. Let's work on our next tier three ability, which has got to be leap, which I could describe to you with my amazing words. But instead, I'm going to use this video of Winston from Overwatch using his jump ultimate. That is leap. And to unlock that, I need three jump boost potions, 16 slime blocks, and 16 sponges. So let's go to the nether and let's get ourselves some potions. Okay, we found another fortress. Oh, perfect. And we found nether warts, actually. Here's some nether warts. Now we just got to find and kill some blazes. <laughs> Okay, that's five blaze rods, which is all we need. And since we already got the nether wards, we can head on home. Okay, so let's go in. Let's make a couple brewing stands real fast. 
And now we're going to need to make some jump boost potions. But for now, let's go to sleep and we'll work on that tomorrow. Good morning. Now let's go grab some sand. I have a single piece of sand. So let's go ahead and let's grab some of this sand. Now let's throw the sand inside of our furnace. Now let's grab our glass. Let's turn them into glass bottles, which we can now fill up with water. Now I'll just throw our water bottles inside the brewing stand and throw in a blaze powder for some energy. Now we just need a rabbit's foot. So let's go find some rabbits in the most common place we can, the desert. Okay, we're in a desert, but I haven't found any rabbits yet. So I'll keep looking for some so we can kill them for their rabbit's feet. Oh my God, there's a rabbit. Oh, we got one. I saw the rabbit's foot. There it is. We got it. And with the rabbit's foot in hand, we can now make the jump potion. Now let's add our nether warts into this brewing stand right here. Now we just had a rabbit's foot, and these are going to turn to jump potions. There we go, three potions of leaping. Now we just need to get slime blocks and sponges to finish up the leap upgrade, but again, it's night. And so to skip as much time as possible, let's go to sleep, and tomorrow we get the sponges. And luckily, you guys taught me a really easy way to get sponges. Because for those that don't know, sponges only spawn in underwater monument. And in the last video, I really struggled to find one, but you guys taught me a trick. I can find those underwater monuments the exact same way that I find my woodland mansion. So let's just go grab a bunch of sugar canes and compasses. Let's go trade for an underwater monument map. Okay, so first things first, let's grab as much sugar cane as we can. And there we go. Just like that, we have over two stacks of sugar cane. Now let's just gather some sand real quick. Okay, that should be enough sand. Now let's just head on home, get the rest of the stuff from our chests, and tomorrow we trade for an underwater monument map. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's turn our sugar cane into paper, and that's gonna give us over two stacks of paper. And we're just waiting for this glass to finish up, but let's grab what we have right now, and let's turn these into glass panes, which means we have everything we need to now head to a village and trade with some villagers. Okay, here's two villagers here. One of them may take it. Yes! Okay, you, you're now a cartographer, so let's trade all of our paper for your emeralds, and that's gonna level him up from a novice. Now, if we look, he's an apprentice, which means he should trade us. Wait, oh God. I don't even know if I have to do the glass panes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the ocean explorer map because I'm guessing that's gotta be it, right? I forgot a compass. Hold up, grab some redstone, grab some iron. There we go. Compass, please tell me you still have it. Okay, cool. He still got the ocean explorer map, which means we can now trade for that. And if I look at this map, you're gonna see it's gonna show an underwater monument in the middle of this map. That little blue thing. Now you're gonna notice that I'm the dot in the upper left hand corner, meaning we gotta head southeast. We're going this way. This is southeast. We're loading the map. Oh, I see it. I can see it. Just like the map said, we have an underwater monument. Now we just gotta go find the sponges inside. Luckily, we got some milk buckets on us, which should make it a little bit easier because of exactly that, the mining fatigue. Okay, let's drink a milk bucket and just get some sponges. I hear guardians going. Yo, I see a nameplate. Wait, what? Are the hunters here? Oh, yo, there's a gorilla in the distance. I see the boat. Do you see him? I think the hunters are here. Hold on, just keep breaking sponges for now. I just heard them. I just heard them. He's right below us. Hold on, we can kill this guy. Get him. He's in the water. Yes, we got him. Oh, 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 gorilla. Nice, he's done. Back to the sponges. Oh, wait, I hear more guardians. Is there another one? Oh, he's back. Oh, my God. I hear him next to me. He's literally right below me. I can see his name. Come on. We got to get him. Dude, no. Oh, yeah, he's done. He doesn't have a chance. We can literally breathe underwater. Okay, let's just keep getting these sponges. The guardians are going off. Man, I think the hunters are back. Let's just get out of here and let's head on home because we got all the sponges we need. Okay, so now let's just throw the wet sponges inside of this furnace and now let our sponges dry. And now we just need to get slime blocks. And I'm not gonna lie, I am not excited for this. To make a slime block, you need nine slime balls. Meaning if I need 16 slime blocks, that's 144 slime balls. And since slimes don't even drop their slime balls all the time, that's like killing 200 slimes, which is just too much. Now look, I know that in a full moon, slime spawns are increased, but I don't know when a full moon's coming and I don't even have looting. So this is just gonna be a pain to do and it's gonna take forever, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's go find a swamp and at night we'll kill slimes for like a few days. Oh, I hear a chainsaw. Oh, he's on me. Oh God. Oh, oh they have a bulldozer. There's a bull. Oh, the bulldozer just hit me and sent me flying. Eat a banana, eat a banana, eat a banana. Go this way, go this way, go this way. Okay, let's get up here. I just summoned a bunch of minis. What are you doing? Soldier, get on the battlefield. I'm chopping down the tree, dude. What was that? Oh, they cut down the tree. Okay, summon a bunch of them. They can't avoid the babies in the water. Okay, two of them are in the water. Nice. He's soloed out. He's got to be almost dead. Oh, my God. No, he, he singled you out, Jose. Oh, no. Nice. We got him. He's done. Now, let's get this guy. Monkey punch. Oh, you're done. Bro. Done. He's done. He's done. Let's eat a few bananas. Okay, there's tons of bananas around. Man, you've got the luck of a unicorn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god. We got them. Okay, they're all dead. But we still have slimes to get. I guess we'll just wait for night. 
Okay, we officially have all the slime balls that we need, which took way too long to do. I literally never want to farm slimes ever again in my entire life. I'm going home. Goodbye. Okay, it's day 46. Let's just turn these slimes into slime balls. 18 slime blocks, which is enough to unlock our leap ability. So let's just go over to our furnaces, grab our sponges out from earlier, and just like that, we can unlock leap. And you know I gotta try this ability out, so we're in a field right now to do that. Oh! If I, so I slam the ground around these chickens, and then when I land, I also slam. It's a double slam ability. Now we're talking. This gorilla is getting so strong so fast. But there's still one more tier three upgrade to go. And that's to become an ape adult. For 32 sweet berries, 128 iron bars, and three music discs. So let's quickly head home and make the iron bars we need. Okay, we're done with that. Now let's just go get 32 sweet berries. That's also kind of easy. Okay, yeah, let's get back up to the base. Oh, wait, there's a name up there. I hear a truck up there, too. Oh, there's TT. We need to get down. We need to get down. Oh, God. They blew up the base. No, the chests are gone. My stuff, my stuff, my stuff. Oh, they found me. Okay, I'll send him flying back. That's some fall damage right there. Oh, he's done. Okay, there's one below. We got him. Oh, we hit him. Nice, we got him. Oh, and Unicorn's dead. He fell from a high place to one of my bananas. Well, they're all dead, but uh, so is our base. Like, nothing is left. We were able to get a bunch of our stuff, but yeah, it's gone. Let's go make a new base. With our second base already destroyed, I had to make a third one that would not be found. And so I built what I think is one of my most hidden bases yet. Okay, so welcome to the brand new Gorilla Base. This is actually one of my favorite bases I've ever made. And let me show you why. Obviously, it's pretty basic right here. We got a nether portal. We got our furnaces. We got our chests and crafting stuff. And then we got our enchanting table over here. None of that's that cool. My favorite thing is this little waterfall. If we go outside the doors, you're gonna notice I'm actually in the side of a cave. And you're gonna notice this little waterfall outside. I really want to use this waterfall on the base. So I did. I made it flow into the base. I gave it this little trap door. And when you swim down the waterfall, you end up in our giant mine shaft. Hey, look, there's a skeleton riding a spider over there. Anyway, you get the idea. This base is really cool. But cool or not, we still got work to do. Because right now, we are still an adolescent ape. Now, luckily, to finish this up we just need three music discs. And as you can see, I already got one in front of me, so we just need two more. And the easiest place is an ancient city, so let's go head to one. And so I quickly looked around for an ancient city, which took until day 59. Oh, we found an ancient city. Let's go. Now we just gotta go find ourselves some music discs inside of here. Okay, this is definitely gonna stop the streaker when I open it. Please have a music disc. Yes, it has other side. The best of all the music discs. Wrong. Oh, I set it off again. You know what? Just play other side. Okay, let's check out this chest. Nice, we got a music disc. That's all the music discs we need. We've got cat, other side, and wait. And I'm not gonna wait around here to see what happens. Let's just go home. Okay, so with the music discs, iron bars, and sweet berries, we can now become an adult gorilla. So say goodbye to our small team, and hello to the adult, who now comes with a giant backpack on full of bananas. Not only that, you're gonna see I'm huge, have 25 hearts of HP, jump boost four, water breathing, speed two, and strength two. Yeah, this is a massive buff for our gorilla. And now we can finally move on to our tier four upgrades, which means we can unlock the king gorilla, the coconut gun, or horrible stench. In fact, that ability sounds so gross, I'm not even gonna unlock it till last. So let's work on the coconut gun because shooting coconut sounds fun anyway. All we have to do is use a crossbow to shoot a firework and kill a zombie. Then we just gotta kill 30 guardians and have my gorilla army attack the poachers 100 times. You think you guys can handle that? Good. So let's start by making a crossbow, which is really easy. Just three sticks, an iron ingot, two string, and some tripwire hooks. So let's start by making the tripwire hook in the middle, which is an iron ingot, a stick, and a plank. Boom, tripwire hook. Now we just need to take the rest of the materials and combine them like this, and we get ourselves a crossbow. Now that we have a crossbow, we just need to make some fireworks. And fireworks can be crafted with just some paper and some gunpowder. Now, if you want your fireworks to look cool, you gotta also make a fireworks star, which you can see over here. But I don't care about that. I just need rockets. And I don't have either gunpowder or paper, so let's go get some. Okay, that's all the gunpowder we need. Now let's just grab some sugar cane. And there we go, that should be enough sugar cane. So now let's turn that sugar cane into paper and let's combine that paper with our four gunpowder to make ourselves 12 firework rockets. Now let's put the rockets in our off hand and the crossbow in our main hand. And when we load it, you're gonna see there's a rocket now inside of our crossbow. So now let's just go take on some zombies. Oh yeah, there you are, ugly. Okay, blank firework rockets do nothing. We're gonna need to make some more real quick. Okay, now let's see if we can kill a zombie. So let's just hit this zombie. Oh, he's dead. Okay, here we go. We got the zombie. Took a little damage. Let's punch him. Okay, he should be low. Now let's get him with the crossbow. There we go. We did it. We have killed a zombie with a crossbow rocket. And uh, it's nighttime, so let's go to sleep. Okay, so now that we're done killing the zombie, we just have to kill 30 guardians. And since we already know where an underwater monument is, let's just head over there real quick. Okay, we're back at the monument. My gorilla does not fit in the boat anymore. As you can see, I'm mostly under the boat. But that's okay. Let's just hop out and let's die underwater and start taking out all these ugly guardians. Ooh, gold blocks. 
And there we go. Just like that, we've killed all 30 guardians that we need to kill. So now let's just grab our boat and head on home. Okay, now that we've killed all the guardians, it's time for our gorilla army to now take on the poachers. And once they do that, we'll unlock the coconut gun. So let's head back to the poachers base. We haven't actually been there in a while. Okay, their base is up ahead. Let's go. Come on, let's go, gorillas. We're gonna make a very loud entrance. Ready? We're gonna leap and destroy their base in seconds. Here we go. Ready? And leap. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it just did. Boom. Oh, I killed all my gorilla soldiers. That's okay. That's okay. Let's get on top of the base this time. Ready? There we go. We're in the base. We're taking out the base. Here we go. Slowly but surely, we're doing some damage to it. Okay, we just need them to keep attacking us. We're gonna stay right here. Here we go. Now they'll attack him. Nice. We got 20 attacks. They're starting to die. Yeah, get them, little monkeys. Get them. Keep attacking them. I can just keep spawning. Look at this. Spawn more. Dude, he's got a million bananas surrounding him. What am I supposed to do about this? Yes, keep attacking my monkey army. The monkey's almost done. They're at 55 out of 100. Just keep doing your thing, monkeys. They got a little close. Here we go. We're gonna land. I wanna see what this does. Boom! Oh, he's done. 99, 100. There it is. We're officially done with this upgrade. Now let's go and let's quickly unlock our coconut gun. No, he got an upgrade. Let's try this thing out. Oh, they explode. Oh my goodness. Say goodbye to your base. Just like you destroyed mine, baby. Let's go. Oh my God, we're destroying the base. Okay, let's leap up, up. Let's leap up. Ready? Boom. Now let's go on top. Oh my goodness, dude. Let's blow up their ladder so they can't get up here. Oh my God, I just blew them up. Oh, I see their beds too. Oh, oh bed is still here. No, it's not anymore. It's not. One just died and their bed's gone, so they can't respawn. There's one building up. I hear him. Ready? He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he lived it. He's dead. Yes, we punched him. And now he's going to get this guy. Oh, there he is. He's in that. Oh, he's done. He's done. And I have wiped out the poacher's base, which would definitely slow them down a lot. And with our new coconut gun, we're basically invincible. So let's head on home. Okay, this new coconut gun is cool. And it's really strong too. But now it's time to work on becoming a king gorilla. Because I'm not gonna lie, I really don't want to get the horrible stench ability. It just sounds gross. So let's become a king. To do that, we just need to get two enchanted golden apples, eight phantom membranes, and a heart of the sea. So let's quickly head back to the ancient city we didn't loot, and let's go find some god apples. Okay, no god apples in this chest, but we did get two music discs and some other stuff. Oh yeah, we got a god apple. We got our first one. There we go. And we got a god pair of leggings. No golden apple in here. Oh, I still have a shrieker above me. Dang it. And there's still no god apple. That's definitely summoning a warden. Oh, he's above me. Oh, jeez. Oh, this chest has two god apples. Let's go. That's all we need. We can finally get out of here. That warden's coming quick. Oh my god, I hear the warden behind me. Oh, there we go. And just like that, we are out of here. Okay, so we're back from the ancient city. And we've got three god apples to show for it. Which means now we just have to go ahead and get eight phantom membranes and a heart of the sea. Which means no more sleeping so I can get phantoms to spawn. But anyway, before we go for any of that, I'm gonna take four netherite scraps and combine them with four gold ingots to make ourselves a netherite ingot. Then we're gonna take these really OP leggings we got, combine it with our netherite ingot to get really OP netherite leggings. Now we're really strong. Now let's go look for some shipwrecks so we can get a heart of the sea. Okay, I'm at a shipwreck. Let's see if we can get a heart of the sea here. And there's the chest. Perfect. We got a bunch of ores in here. Yes, we got the buried treasure map. And that will get us to the heart of the sea. It looks like we have to pretty much straight west. So let's start going over this way until the map starts to generate. Oh yeah, it's generating. We're close. Okay, it's somewhere right around here. I'm gonna guess it's across here. <gasps> yes, it is. It's right here. Oh, there we go. Look at all this loot. With that in hand, we can finally head on home. And all we need left is to get a phantom membranes, which means we can't sleep for one more night. And then they'll start to spawn one night later. Okay, let's just start running around and looking for phantoms now. Oh yeah, there they are, there they are. Okay, and the sun is rising, but we did not get enough phantom membranes. We needed a total of eight. He got seven. We're literally one short. So we're gonna have to get the last one we need tomorrow night. Okay, it's nighttime again. Let's get killing phantoms. We literally just have to get one phantom membrane and we'll be all set. And there we go. We have all eight phantom membranes we need now. Let's go home. I'm exhausted. Okay, so we can officially become a king gorilla now. So let's just quickly go grab our golden apples and say goodbye to our adult gorilla and hello to the king. I had to actually take a cut there because uh, the animations weren't working. So uh, when I did this, I didn't swing my head. It just kind of looked like I was head bobbing. And now that we are officially a king gorilla, there's only one more tier four upgrade to go, which means fine, I'll unlock horrible stench because I know all you weirdos want me to get this one. Anyway, to get it, we just need 64 mud bricks, three puffer fish and a poisonous potato. So let's quickly go get three puffer fish because that's well easy. Okay, we're in a warm ocean. Let's just look for some puffer fish, which there should be puffer fish inside of a coral reef. They should spawn in here. We just got to find them. Turbo Gorilla! Oh my God, I'm going so fast. With Dolphin's Grace, I'm way too quick. Oh, there's a puffer fish. I see one. Yeah! Wait, do I have to kill you? Yeah, I do. Okay, any more puffer fish? 
Okay, there we go. Just like that. We've got three puffer fish. And since it's still daytime and I see a village behind me, let's go grab some potatoes and see if we can get a poisonous one. Sir, I need you to stop being a farmer for a sec. Okay, let's see. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Okay, no potatoes, just wheat. What about here? No potatoes, just wheat. Okay, desert villages only have wheat. So uh, we're gonna have to go find a plains village. Ah, here's one. Now let's just head over to the farm and see if we get a poisonous potato. Hey, we actually got one. Well, cool. Then that means we can go ahead and head on home. And we just need to get 64 mud bricks to finish up the stinky upgrade. Okay, so now we just have to get one stack of mud bricks, which might sound easy, but it's actually kind of tricky. You see, to make mud bricks, you actually need four packed mud. And to get packed mud, you need to combine regular mud with wheat. Meaning to get a stack of this stuff, I need a stack of wheat. So let's quickly go back to that village we were just at and grab some hay. Okay, let's just grab all this hay right here. And if we turn that into wheat in our inventory, we're gonna have well over a stack of wheat. So now we just need to go get some mud. And luckily, I know where a mangrove is, so that's really easy to do. Okay, so now let's just go into this mangrove real quick, and let's just start grabbing a bunch of this mud. Okay, we've got all the mud now. So let's combine the wheat and the mud in our inventory, and that's gonna give us a bunch of packed mud. Where if we combine it in our inventory again, we're gonna get 64 mud bricks, which is all we need to get horrible stench. So let's just go home and grab our poisonous potato. Here it is, which means we can unlock horrible stench, which is an ability you're gonna notice uh, is already active. If you look at my body, you're gonna see these green particles appearing now, and that's because I stink. In fact, according to the description, I smell so bad that everything around me gets nausea and slowness. And they take critical hits. This is so ridiculously OP and stinky. But anyway, let's not worry about that for right now. We officially have our final tier four upgrade, which means now we can work on our tier five upgrades tomorrow. Uh, we'll do it tomorrow. Okay, so let's see which tier five upgrade we want to work on. We have banana boat, which is a giant rideable flying banana. We have the gorilla throw. We just kind of chuck people. And we have mecha gorilla, which has 50 total hearts. You know what? I'm going to go for all three at once because they all require stuff from the end. So let's head down to the base real quick and go into our nether portal. Now all we have to do is get some blaze rods and ender pearls so we can make a bunch of eyes of ender and get to the end portal. So let's start by heading to the fortress and getting some blaze rods. Die, blaze. Okay, we have 10 blaze rods, which is more than enough. I lied, 11 blaze rods. Wait, hold on. I lied, 12 blaze rods. Now let's go to a bastion. Okay, booyah, found a new bastion. And we got a bunch of gold blocks on the side of this one, which I think means it's a bridge bastion. There's definitely, yeah, there's the lava. Yeah, it's definitely a bridge bastion, which means there's gonna be a lot of gold here. So let's grab the two gold blocks here. Now let's go all the way down here to the bottom. And there's a ton of gold blocks waiting for us. Okay, that's 15 gold blocks. Now let's head up to the back again and grab all those. Okay, 20 gold blocks should definitely be enough. Now let's turn all of our gold blocks into gold and start dropping it into this hole with all the piglins in it. And now they're just gonna start trading and throwing me stuff. So now we wait. Okay, the piglins are done and I kind of murdered them, but I definitely see ender pearls in there. So let's see how many we get. And we got in total 16 plus seven. That's a number that's over 20, which is all we need. So now let's just head on home and go to the end. Okay, so now let's turn our blaze rods into blaze powder and combine that with our ender pearls to get a boatload of eye of ender. And now that we have 18, let's go ahead and let's throw them outside and let's find this end portal. Oh, it's this way. It's kind of going sideways. Looks like it's going this way. I'm gonna throw one more just to make sure that's right. No, that's definitely right. We're going this way. Okay, let's keep throwing our eyes until we reach the portal. Okay, let's throw the next one. Oh, it's, wait, it's going... We're right on top of it? What were the odds of that? That's the fourth eye, and it was exactly 500 blocks from the last one, and we're right on top of it. I think in all the 100 day videos I've had, I don't think that's happened once. Okay, let's start digging right here, and down we go into the stronghold. Oh, we found the stronghold we're in. Okay, now we fit, we can drop in. Let's grab this iron. Oh, an infinity book. That's nice. Wait, is that the, oh, and the portal. Let's put the eyes in. And in we go! Welcome to the end! Now let's just take on the dragon by first destroying his towers. Okay, let's go up to the first tower. Boom! Boom! We got it! It's destroyed! Now let's just go do this to every single tower. If we can do it to the tallest tower, we can definitely do it to the rest of them. Ba boom Okay, now let's get the final crystal ready. Boom! Yeah! Got him! Okay, now we just gotta take out the dragon. Oh, I forgot to enchant my bow. Crud, that's gonna be weak. We're gonna have to wait for him to land, I think. Wait, what? Oh, hunters are here. Bring it on, dude. You're not hunting me. I'm hunting you. Nice. We got him. He's done. Dude, what was that? Let's get this guy. Hooga, 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 hooga. No. Nice. Two down. Okay, there's one more over here. Let's quickly get him. Oh, we got him. He's done. Yeah, got him. Where'd he go? Oh, 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 he's behind me. <sighs> Wait, are they not coming back? Did they not have beds? They almost always have beds. Oh, no, they have beds. Okay, let's grab these torches in the center. That'll help us get the dragon egg later. He's got to be low. He's got to be low. Yeah, he's low. He's dead. Okay, let's kill them quick. Ready? Oh, he's done. Nice, we got him. I don't see any of him around. This is our chance, but he's still really high in the sky. Let's put a bunch of bananas around. That way, if they try to get to the egg, they're gonna slip. Nice, we got him. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. This is our chance to get the egg. Please don't come in now. This will be the worst time for them to come in. Right click the egg. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? 
Did that egg just go into the portal? Where did it go? I think it means it went to spawn. But I don't want to leave yet. Because I still have to get a elytra in the outer end over there. Okay, you know what? We'll go check the egg later. Because I doubt the poacher saw it go into the portal. So let's just throw our ender pearl right here. And now we're in the outer end. And we just have to go find some elytra. So I explored the outer end looking for an end city with an elytra ship. But I kept running into end cities that were shipless. Luckily, I was able to get all the shulker cells I needed though. So that's good at least. Oh, one's generating. Finally, I found an end city. It's a huge end city. I don't think there's a ship on this one. No, there is a ship. There's a ship in the back. Now, before I go in, I already have the shulker shell, so I'm not going to worry about killing the shulkers. We're just going to go in and get the elytra in the ship. So let's launch ourselves up with leap. Let's launch up with leap again. There we go. Come on, get up. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Yeah, we made it. Now let's make it onto this tower. And then from this tower, I should just be able to jump to the ship. Yeah, we're on. Okay, let's break these blocks. Now we're in the bottom. Okay, let's kill that guy. We got the elytra. Okay, perfect. Now let's just grab the dragon head. And there we go, we got the dragon head. And that is almost everything we need from the end, but not quite. You see, to unlock Gorilla Throw, I need to get the great view from up here advancement, which means I have to have a shulker levitate me like a billion blocks in the sky. So let's get to work. Let's find a shulker down here. Beam me up, Scotty. We're gonna stay completely still and let them get me. There's a bunch of shulkers attacking me, so this might be a good place to do it. Let's throw an ender pearl all the way up there. That counted, that gave me levitation and because I was 50 blocks in the sky, it works. Which means we got the advancement. And now we can officially leave the end and head on home. Okay, we're home. And now that we're done in the end, there's only a few things left that we need to do. We need to get three skull catalysts, two total of undying, 10 kills with our coconut gun, and a nether star. So let's start by quickly getting silk touch on one of our pickaxes, so that way we can easily get skull catalyst in an ancient city. Now, if we look at our chest, we already actually have one skull catalyst in there, so we only need to get two more in the ancient city. So let's start by making a diamond pickaxe, and let's see if we can get silk touch on it. There we go, silk touch. Now, let's just go back to the ancient city real quick and grab two extra skull catalysts. Okay, let's just sneak over to this skull catalyst right over here, and let's break this one. I know it's gonna stop that tree girl. Let's quickly break the second one. Okay, nice. It had a delay. Now we have three skull catalysts, which as we can see is all we need to become a mecha gorilla. But for gorilla throw, we still need to insert disc five into a jukebox. And since ancient cities are the only place to get disc five, let's look around for some disc fragments. Okay, there we go. There's three disc fragments in this chest. Ooh, another four in this chest. Let's go finally. There's another three, which means we can officially make disc five. So let's head on home. Okay, we're back at the base. Let's just quickly go inside and craft the five disc real quick. Oh, there he okay, is. Okay, how's now? All right, go. enjoy the TNT, my God, my God. gorilla. Let's take the nine disc and turn it into the full disc five and then what the there's hunters in my ceiling they're dropping tnt there are things that are just falling through my floor they're not even blowing me up hold up i need to get up there let's punch him off okay, he's going down oh no he landed there Wh whatever we won't worry about him for a sec one of them's in the base we can't let him blow it up we can't let him blow it up i want to try and keep this stuff safe as long as possible make sure none of them are going underneath one just blew up the tnt just blew up one of them no i killed myself <laughs> Ooh. He's gone. He's dead. Oh, my God. I didn't see him. No. Nice. I just watched him die. Oh, we got him. Oh, I can't get him there. Hold on. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm not doing too hot, guys. Nice. We got him. He's done. Yes. Okay. Our base barely survived. They literally didn't hit anything essential. My chests are okay. My furnaces are okay. My bookshelves are mostly okay. My nether portal's fine. Did they get my bed over here? No, even my bed's fine. That was a massive fail on their part, but I'm still going to move bases because I don't want to deal with the poachers coming back here a million times in the last 20 days or so. So let's just grab all our stuff and let's go quickly build a new base somewhere else. Well, that's really not good. I just lost a base 80 days into this video, which is really going to make getting all of the upgrades and survive until day 100 really hard. So to make sure we still get everything done, I built the worst base I've probably ever built. But that's okay, because it does have a cool shipwreck in it. Okay, welcome to my brand new gorilla base. It's really small and in this cave, but it has this cool shipwreck that was already in here, which I've never actually seen a shipwreck in a cave before. So if you have, let me know in the comments. But I'll take it. I put my nether portal by the shipwreck. I put all my basic survival stuff right here. I got my enchanter right in here. And I've got the bed right in here inside of the shipwreck. And I know this base is pretty basic, but with under 20 days remaining, this is gonna have to do. Now to become I'm a mecha gorilla, we still need to go get the dragon egg at spawn and get two totems of undying. So let's wrap up there first. To get two totems of undying, I normally have to go to a woodland mansion, but because time is so tight, I just don't think that's a good idea. I think I should probably do a raid and get the totems that way because it's going to be a little bit quicker because I know where villages are and I know how to get bad omen really fast. So let's quickly head to a pillager tower and get bad omen from a bannerman. Okay, so we have five totems of undying, and you didn't see me get a single one. And that's because the footage corrupted. Like, right as I finished the raid, my recording software, OBS, decided to just kind of... 
So let me tell you what happened. I went to a tower. I punched a bannerman in the face. I got bad omen. I went to a village. I did a raid. Bada bing, bada boom. I now have five totems of undying. And you can see I did the raid because I have Hero of the Village and a bunch of axes and banners and just other stuff they drop. Anyway, now that that's done and we have the totems, we can pretty much become a mecha gorilla. We just have to get that dragon egg at spawn. You know, the one that fell through the portal earlier. Now I'm really hoping that it's still there and I'm assuming it will be. So let's just quickly head to spawn and get it. Okay, spawn's just up here. Uh, there's my spawn. Now, the egg could be anywhere at spawn. Oh, God. No, they found the egg. They're literally guarding it. Look, there's a giant obsidian box, and, well, one of them's coming at me. Hold up. Oh, my God. I can't stop that thing. No! Okay, fine. You're getting coconutted, dude. You're getting coconutted. Yeah, you better run. I got coconuts that explode. Nice. We destroyed it. We destroyed it. Okay, let's get over that obsidian box. I'm guessing it's in there. Let's get this guy. Nice. One step. One step. One step. <laughs> let's get some distance between us. Okay, we got the beds. We got the beds. We got the beds. Wait, I'm slow. I think a bunch of those cones are getting rid of my speed buff because I'm slow up here. He's done. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, how is he not dead? No, please. Please spare me, monkey. Please. <laughs> nice. We got him. We got him. We got him. There's one on my tail. Nice. He's dead. Oh, wait. What? They're respawning. How's he? Oh, wait. Spawn. Right. They're just going to spawn here. I'm stupid. Nice. He's in the lava. I'm going to use this chance. Come on. Just break the obsidian. Why won't this break? Why won't this break? That should be broken like tenfold already. Okay, let's just slam through the obsidian. Oh, I see the egg. I think he slammed it. Yeah, he's got the egg. He's got the egg. If I right click it now, it should teleport. Where'd it go? Let's just protect this thing real quick. There we go. I have it protected now. Okay, we need a torch or a banner. A banner should work. Let's put this banner. The egg's right there. Egg falls. Egg breaks. Oh my God, that worked. Grab it. Yes, I got the egg. He's going down the hole. He's dead. Nice. Ah, uh, no. Let's use this chance to get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's dive under the water. I don't think they're going to find us here. Nice. Let's go, let's go. They can't keep up with us under the water. See you later, poachers. Okay, with the dragon egg in hand, we can officially become the mecha gorilla. So say goodbye to the king. Into a mecha gorilla. Look how big I am. I'm absolutely huge. Like, I barely fit outside my cave right now. I'm so big. And now that we're a mecha gorilla, there's only two more upgrades to go. We have the gorilla throw, where we just need to insert disc five into a jukebox. And then we have banana boat, where we just need a nether star. So let's head to the nether and start killing some wither skeletons. Okay, now that we're at the fortress, let's just go look for some wither skeletons and start killing them for their skulls. Okay, and just like that, we finally got the third skull we need. So let's just head on home. And now let's simply summon a wither and kill it for its nether star. Okay, this looks like a good place to summon a wither. So let's put down all of our soul sand like this. Let's put the three wither skeleton skulls on top. And now we got the wither on the ground. So now let's just get ready to fight this guy. And there we go. Just like that, we have the wither star. Wow, that's tiny. You can't even see that, can you? It went in that hole. There it is. You can see it down there. There's the nether star. And now that we have the nether star, we have everything we need to unlock the banana boat. And we pretty much have everything we need to unlock gorilla throw. We're about to become a full strength gorilla. So let's just grab our shulker shells, our elytra, one of our totems. And now we can unlock the banana boat. And before I show that to you, let's quickly make a jukebox, put it in here, and let's throw disc five into it. And now we can get Gorilla Throw as well. So let's try out our brand new abilities. Obviously, being a Mecha Gorilla, we have Jump Boost 8, Unlimited Water Breathing, Speed 4, Strength 4, and Unlimited Fire Resistance. And on top of that, we have our new Banana Boat ability. Look at this thing. It's like a giant banana vehicle. And when I right-click it, you're going to see I hop inside. And now I can fly around on a giant banana. No, I'm not kidding. This is literally me flying on a giant banana. And not only that, I can drop banana bombs from my banana that are going to blow the ground up. Oh my Oh my god, look at all the damage it's doing! And to get out, all I have to simply do is land the banana, and I'm out! It's that easy! Now, our other new ability is Gorilla Throw, which if I use it on one of these pigs right here, you're gonna see grabs the pig, and when I click, <laughs> that pig goes flying, and then explodes. So it's basically a one-hit KO move. But now that we're a full-strength gorilla, all we have to do is survive until day 100 now, which is what I would do, but that would be boring. Instead, I want to slow the poachers down as much as possible. So let's go have some fun. Now that we are a full-strength gorilla, our goal is simple. Simple. Survive till day 100. And just to make sure the poachers wouldn't try anything tricky, I went searching for their new base again. And this is what I did. Wait, is that my old base? That's not my old base. No, that's the hunter base. I see them running on it. They also built a treetop base. Oh, we're going in. I don't even know if they see me. They're in for a rude awakening. Look at this. I'm just gonna start dropping bananas. Ready? Watch this. Oh what God. the? No! Oh, let's go higher. They're shooting us. Here we are. Ready? Drop a couple bombs on them. Oh my gosh. Let's keep destroying the base. Ready? Let's bomb right here. Oh my goodness. Their base is toast. Oh, this is definitely going to slow them down. Dude, what do I even do here? <laughs> Shoot it down. Shoot it down. I'm shooting. 
it's not doing anything. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at all the bananas. Now let's just simply fly on back to our base now that we've given them a nice slowdown. After wiping out yet another poacher base, they were gonna have little to no time to come at me. But of course, they were gonna try because on day 99, they showed up for what I assumed was gonna be the final battle. And there we go. We have another right chest plate again. Now let's get it enchanted real quick. So let's grab some of our lapis. Our lapis, there it is. Oh, they're here. They're here. They're here. Wait, how did they get past my banana wall outside and I didn't hear them? Oh, there we go. Now you're slipping. That's exactly what I wanted. Well, he slips over there. I'm going to worry about this. He's looking at him. He's just slipping everywhere. Nice. We got him. He's dead. Nice. He's dead. No, dude. Oh, you're not having a chance. You're done. Nice. He's done. They're all three dead. Okay. Let's see if they come back. A lot of times they set up beds nearby. Oh, yeah. There's an excavator and one of them's e-purling. Nice. He's done. They got excavators going for base. We got to go stop that. We got to go stop that. In fact, let's actually grab our banana boat. Okay, I blew one up. Oh, that may blow up the base. Oh, that was a bad idea. He's taking the stuff. Get off. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> nice. We got him. We got him. We got him. Wait, let's go for their beds. Let's go for their beds. Get them, little monkeys. Get them, little monkeys. Yeah. Okay, where's their beds? They're coming from up here somewhere. Up top the hill. They're coming from up top. Oh, dude, he's running. He's, he's going toward it. He knows where our base is, dude. He oh, knows it's no, at the top no. of the hill. Oh, hello. Oh, he's trying to stop me from getting the beds. Nice. He's dead. Nice, I think I just got the beds. There's one stuck in there. Unicorn died to me. He's officially dead. There's no more respawning for them. Oh my god, this is it. This is it. This is it. We just need to hunt him down. Okay, we got him. Ready? Send him flying. Did he just pick me up? No! No! Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Nope. Bye-bye! He pushed me. Oh god! What happened? <laughs> yeah, they're not spawning in there anymore. They're officially not in there anymore. Did you guys respawn at spawn? Yeah. Dude, there's no way you can get back to my base in time. It's gonna be day 100 before you even get here. Yeah, well, I'm gonna make like a banana and split. Oh, really? That's that's the joke you're gonna make? Fine, you guys can quit. I'm just gonna wait for daytime real quick. And there it is, the sun's rising. There it is, day 100, which means the gorilla officially made it here and the gorilla wins.